off here. I think um, what y'all had said, how maybe I just haven't found the right man because I don't, mm-hmm. I don't find it a problem to be submissive, but a man really hasn't brought out my mm. femininity like that. Like my, what is it called? Fem- femininity. Sorry. Yeah, I can't, yeah. Sorry. Go but anyway, yeah. And so like, say. I feel like if, that word? if I find yeah. a man that really does that, I, I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind being like, okay, baby, you want me to go do this? Oh, baby, you want, do you want, f- I ain't capping. No, I just haven't found my man. Like, like I'm being so yeah. serious. Yeah. But, she's but, she's she's and, and, and that's another thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm also so young. Yeah. And so like, stupid. And like, no, Chris, I need to, Chris, come on. stupid. Chris, come on. I, I know I'm not stupid. It's okay. He can do all the funny you are. shit he wants. Let her talk, bro. But the thing is, is, you know, like if I do find the right man, I will 100% most definitely. And I still honestly would be like, we can still go 50-50, but if the man Stupid. was like, no, 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 like, let me pay the bill, let me, you know, it just, it's, it's got to be the right man. Let me ask you a question it's real gotta quick. It's got to be. What if you, you know, a guy came up to you and he was wearing heels and he was, you know, maybe had lipstick on or some shit, or he was fairly feminine. He said, hey, listen, I'm going to act masculine. I just need you to be feminine. How would you react to that? Would you give that guy a chance? I would have to... Mm, Get to know that guy. I want to get cat. to understand him. Okay, let's I'm not, but I'm not. You would not give him a chance because he's acting like a woman, correct? Hey, yo. No, I, I didn't say that. <laughs> the hey, reality yo. is, you would not give him a chance. You'd be but, like, what the fuck? Like, I don't like uh, girls. What? What are you? What are you? You a T former or something like that? So my my point with that is that's such a random question to be well, asking. I'm on gonna this spin topic. it. I'm gonna spin it around. You're saying you're gonna be submissive yeah, or you, feminine for the right guy but what if you come off as masculine because it's naturally there and he's just not going to give you a chance then if the man if the man cannot bring out the femininity or i can't even say that word sorry the femininity out of you yes then he's not my man you can't bring the masculinity out of me i'm not gonna be masculine see you no what i'm trying to say is like you're not gonna accept i get you you're right like i'm just using your logic against you. you're saying oh i need a man to bring the femininity out of me but no, you're why don't you really just be not feminine? using my you're switching around what i'm saying but okay. yeah because i'm giving you the functional equivalent i have to do it that way because yeah. men and women are different okay you're okay let's go through this logically okay okay so you said a man needs to bring the femininity out of you i said cool I need a woman to bring the masculinity out of me. I'm going to act like a lady until I find the right girl to bring the masculinity out of me. That's okay. what you're basically saying. That's you. I need a man that's masculine to bring the femininity out of me. That's crazy. Why not just be feminine and actually attractive so the guy doesn't have to bring the femininity out of you? You should just be a naturally feminine woman, just like I should naturally be a masculine guy. Okay. Yeah, it's like, you know, I didn't have to, like, tell my girlfriend to do a bunch of shit she was just already the kind of and, girl and if I wanted, you're the right you know man saying? if and you're the right man she's gonna do that no but she was already like that is what i'm trying to say because yeah. you were the you right know? man no, right? no no she was like that Mm-mm. before i met her <laughs> oh, okay. is what i'm trying she's to say feminine woman. You know, she was, and she attracted the man she wanted you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying and so oh. like the type of marketing you put out is is, is i wasn't oh. trying to control her right like when i when i <sighs> When no, I, I what you're saying. saying right? Okay, I like uh, see. Yeah. See, I'm learning new things. Saying? Like I do appreciate, but you're not really coming off in the right way. You said it <laughs> yeah, correctly. I'll, I see what you mean right, because I'll, you attract you you attract what you what you put off. out. Yeah. So okay. No, the that's reason you like what I said and is I'm because I take use, that and I'm gonna no. take that now and I'm gonna you know see, use that in my life. I appreciate that. Thank you. This literally proves how you said it that women care more about how things are said versus factual relevancy and logic and rationale. I quite literally broke it down from a deductive problem standpoint. This is what I mean when I say women aren't deductive problem solvers. It, you didn't like what I said because you didn't like the way I said it, even though it was well, 100% you, you, factual. I know. You write. It's just you being also, respectful you, you at, know, at the end of the day. Well, here, here's the thing. No, no, no. no, 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 no it's, I'm no, it's cool respect. We wanted to shit, talk about you know respect. It's respect. No, it's not. It's not. Here's the thing. This is what okay. I'm trying to say. Women care more about how things are said versus what is said. This is why men are way better at taking criticism, debunking your point from before. Men listen to the message, not how it's carried out to a degree, especially if it's coming from another authority. I'm telling you, yo, this is what it is. And I gave you an analogy and you didn't like it and you dismissed it just because of how I said it. So but that proves my point I, that I women are emotional. It. But okay. when a smooth ass nigga said it, she was like, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, whatever I mean, he wants. No, I mean, that's just, I mean, that's just, that's just a sense of, that's just way, a, a trait of lower IQ. Not being able truth. to process information because your feelings get in the way. Right. That's just a tenement of lower IQ, which is fine. You're 19. Listen, but 
Yeah, you know, but it's also like you know, if you, like I mean, you what you're saying is right, Myron. But it's like at the same time, it's like you know, if you if you had any, you know, when, when you speak to girls, you you want to get your point across and shit. You know, you gotta you, you twisted talk. everything I said around, and you know you did. But it's I okay. You're it right. For, it would, you're right. To give you're you a right. functional equivalent, hey, it's an analogy. You're right. You know but, what an analogy is. But ultimately, he told you the truth. You know, I like how you said it, but he told you the truth. You know, it, I used to one of my old mentors, man, this dude named uh, Saucy. Saucy was a pimp. He's dead now. Um, but he was like a real pimp, man. He was, he was my, my man. R. And um, yeah, R.I.P. Saucy, man. But like, that's one thing I learned. He used to say like the wildest shit, but he had like a lot of game. He was hella smooth. And he could say the same shit to a girl that like uh, some guy would say. And she was like, yeah, you know, like just the way he would talk. He he got a lot. You know, yeah, you can do the, the way you talk mm-hmm. to girls, you know, you can you can you can accomplish a lot. And he told Saucy. You know, I used to think pimps had to like beat the shit out of girls. That's what I thought before I met Saucy. And Saucy's like, nah, man, you just gotta have the right kind of game. Nah, I see you ain't even gotta do that, Aaron. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even gotta do that, Aaron. You gorilla pimping. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a smooth mouthpiece, brother. <laughs> That's what I learned from Saucy. I'm sorry. <laughs> to, to your point, Myron, you're right. But you know what I'm saying? The dudes, listen, you can use that to your advantage, right? I said the same shit and it worked, right? You know, but Myron, you know, Myron's a, you know, she Myron, can do the same Myron, shit anyway. Yeah, she don't know fuck. I don't think she understands. I'm going to be all the way 1,000. I don't think she even understands the concept. I think she just said it because you, she just said, I understand because it was nicer. She's been checked out for a minute. I've been watching her body language. I think Myron was actually just trying to say that you have to give to get. Like, you mm-hmm. know, like you got to give this guy mm-hmm. as much as he gives you and just like, what? you know, him and his relationship with mm-hmm. his girl. Well, yeah, just like, you know, him and his relationship, his girl does for him and he appreciates that. So he's going to do back for his girl. She understood mm-hmm. it when yeah. I said no, it because I'm an old school I, pimp. I, 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 get, I get I heard it in your voice. voice. Really he, he and I know each other <laughs> for like almost a decade. He, he and I yeah. are good friends for like nine years. Mm-hmm. And I didn't really like his last girlfriend. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, really did. I tolerated her because it's my friend. Mm-hmm. He's a good friend. I didn't really like his last girlfriend. <laughs> And you know what? When I when I met this this girl, you know, some time ago, um, and she is very. <laughs> I hope you're not offended by no, that. Go, go, go. But when I met her, no, she's very. She's polite. Mm-hmm. She's more intelligent. Mm-hmm. She's better looking. Yeah. Uh, and she also has you know that like uh, there's like a warmth and femininity yeah. that she tries. She goes out of her way to try to take care of you and look out for you. Mm-hmm. And I just I thought that was wonderful because he's my friend, for, like my friend friend. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. we made a lot of money together. We helped each other on business things. We had. Mm-hmm. Like a, like a very sincere friendship and a lot of Brothers. levels. And when I seen like, like, oh, he got like this nice lady that's like going out of his her way to take care of him and look out for him. I'm like, that's the type of girl that I would want him to have. You know, yeah. it's the type of treatment that I'd want mm-hmm. my, my good friend to have. And so when, when I saw that, it's like, you know, oh, that's, that's good. And then, then I got to ask myself, like, is that how she is right now in front of me? Is right. It, but no, when I'm around, I've been around her many times and she's always that she's way. She's always like that. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and it's like, that's she's like, like so, rubbing his head and stuff she, she's while she's like, standing there. I, I didn't see that. Yeah. But. Yeah. yeah uh, right? But no one had to make her like that, is what I'm trying yeah, to say. She, yeah. she's, she's, not, like she's not playing the role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not pretending. Exactly. She's not playing yeah. the role. It's like, like okay. that's the type of woman she is. Yeah, she's going to get a certain type of man because of that. Yeah. Right. Masculine women can only wear the mask. On for so, for so long. long, like uh, I know, mm-hmm. offense, but you two ladies in the corner are fairly masculine, and it's gonna show at some point. Like a guy that's masculine <laughs> is gonna see that shit and get annoyed and be like, "Damn, this girl's streets only, sex only." You know what I mean? And that's how guys look at streets. women that are masculine. Like, what the fuck? This girl doesn't listen to me. She doesn't obey me. Like, this is a pain in the ass. I'm not gonna take her seriously. Could you imagine if he was being honest? Your man was right here, and he was seeing your behavior right now. Versus if you're just always feminine, you'd be like, "Yeah, she's hot, feminine. I'm gonna give her a shot." Versus. Kind of masculine. I don't know, man. I think I'm good. You know what, what he just said? Category. That's that's how much time a guy that has fifty million, hundred million plus dollars. Yeah, that's how much time he's going to make that assessment. One he, look. He's going to done. The same way, the the same amount of time that you know any pretty woman would take to look at a guy and be like, nah. Mm-hmm. That's how much time you're going to get. You know, it's not like, oh, if he if he does this or that, then I'm going to... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same amount of time that, like, a pretty woman needs to assess a homeless man and be like, that's not my best option. Let me just keep it moving. <laughs> or worse, yeah, he talks to her, sells her the dream, but the, oh, the whole time in the back of his mind, he was like, I'm only going to have sex with this girl. Yeah, yeah. this is something. A lot of guys do that, too. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You yeah. know, a lot of it's because, you know, like she said, she's a young man, you know, so, you know, you, some of the stuff you learn from experience, you know,